Okay guys, so before this tutorial starts, I want you to check out RaymondDigital.com. It's basically a website where you can get like really awesome high quality intro templates that are really easy to edit. All the info is in the description down below. <laughs> What is happening guys? My name is Alex and welcome back to a brand new Vegas 14 tutorial and in this video guys I'm gonna show you guys how to like rotate and well, how to move and spin images Let's just say the title because in this video like I said uh, I'm going to use my picture as you can see right here I'm just gonna go ahead and spin this one and move this one around so you guys can do this in anything that you want to edit Or that you want to move also so as you guys can see right now uh, I have actually uh, this picture of me looking into the screen from an like an Instagram picture and basically guys there are two main options you can do well, that you can that, that you can use you know to make those images move and spin so as you can see right now the first one is going to track motion and as you can see right now this box is popping up and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to move this one out of the frame it doesn't matter where it is then we're going to place a keyframe on the top track I would say right here then we're just going to drag this guy to, to the right across the screen and normally it should move from left to right very fast as you can see how to slow down that one is you want to just pick this keyframe and drag it across uh, the timeline so that's basically one method to slow it down and this is basically how it looks right now as you can see the picture is moving by and that's basically done in the track motion uh, timeline but what you also can do is another way is I'm just gonna just remove this track also create a new video track place this guy in again and the next and the second option is to do it right here in this window if I'm bang crop now as you guys can see it is going to be really annoying because if I drag this out of the screen it's going to stop right right there I don't know why that is it is still a mystery to me but basically how you can go ahead and do this let's say I'm just gonna rotate this one uh, like this like a full circle the next the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna place a keyframe on this um, this this timeline as you can see then we're gonna just drag this guy one round around as you guys can see I'm gonna place it back to where it was it's gonna be very precise but let me see where it is I, th I think that's the position so if you play it back as you can see it rotates one full circle now, as you can see right now, if I skip or you know through halfway the video, uh, it, it it is not like fully into the screen. There is still like some thing like this is really difficult to explain, but there is like some part cut out of it. So that's one bad thing about the second method. But like I said, guys, the first method is really simple. It is just going to track motion, then place the keyframe right here, and then just rotate this guy. And as you can see, the entire picture is now rotating. So if I just go ahead and place it back like so if i play it back right now it should rotate as well and it fucking doesn't nice so i don't know why this is not rotating on the track motion i like maybe i can try the second one i like this uh, but also i think i think the second timeline is not also the one that you have to that you're looking for but it's really weird that when i place down a keyframe if i rotate this image it is not happening if i play it back as you can see it is still like an like a straight image i don't know why that is but that's why i reckon re like recommend the second option that you know the event pan crop but if i rotate it one entire turn with the keyframe right here and if i you know do it like this let's see if i turn it all the way let's see how it looks if i play it back right now as you can see it is spinning a, like a lot of circles because that's how the how many times I went around so this is basically how to do it guys as you can see this is how you pick like make pictures spin and also obviously it works the same if I just want to remove this keyframe and I fit and if I play this keyframe right here I'm gonna play this guy out there this is how you make it move as well and that's how you do it that's how you also make the image spin that's what simple this guys that's how easy it is and that's how to do it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash the like button down below already and also to subscribe button down below so thank you guys for the support. If you want to see more of those videos, make sure to subscribe. We're going towards 80,000 subscribers. And it's just that crazy, guys. Thank you guys for the continued support. And I will see you guys in a new video tomorrow as well. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. So that is it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash the like button down below and also subscribe button at the bottom. So thank you guys for the continued support. If you want to see more content, make sure to click right here. That's it for today. Thank you guys. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.